Hi, this is Sai Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpsami.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation on the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpsami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Now guys, let's take a look at the gold market. So if you remember from the vehicle research that we have prepared, there was one concern about the gold market. Um, how upward action will continue? So uh, there are no, no doubts that the situation is changing in the gold market. We have discussed a lot of uh, positive signs, bull, real bullish patterns. In perspective, we already have the patterns in place that suggest the taking out of the steps. And uh, I think that's not the question that... Uh, Market indeed could rally through this top right to the 1380 area. So, in a nearest term perspective, because we already have the monthly bullish grabber that plays a significant role in overall analysis in our scenario. But on the daily chart, there still uh, was some concern. So, if you remember, we have two different setups. First setup was based on the possible reverse hand shoulder special. So, we thought that maybe somewhere around 1311, 13 even. Market could show just washing rinse of this top of this consolidation and then starts dropping to forming the right shoulder. And after that, we'll reach the COP target, contraction objective point of this, our major large ABCD patient. That was first scenario. Second scenario uh, suggests direct action right to this area. Currently, guys, it seems that second scenario will prevail because by some reasons. First of all, take a look at market actually has met the FIB level 13 even, uh, 1311 accompanied by the day labor bot. But as you can see in action on Tuesday, there's no reaction on this resistance. So market just has passed through it as it now exists in the condition of the wear bot. So don't be surprised with that behavior in relation to the wear bot because for commodities markets, this is normal. So market could stand above the overbought for a considerable period of time before retracement will start. Uh, so it's gold market, crude oil, other commodities. For the financial markets, it's a bit different story. Financial market uh, very painfully reacts on overbought and oversold. So as soon as they will touch them, usually a reaction is falling immediately. But on the commodities, uh, it's a bit different story. That's why, as you can see, gold is just climbing higher and creeping with the upper bot line. Uh, now it stands already above the major resistance 1311 area. So taking into consideration this reaction, that's no actually reaction was in resistance of this previous stops, natural support resistance area. Uh, this market easily has passed for the confluence. It seems that if even some minor reactions will fall on intraday charts, currently it seems that still gold will tend to touch the target first. So it tends to complete the COP target. So also you can see it will be accompanied by the monthly pivot resistance one. So it's approximately uh, 1330 area. That's what we'll be watching for. Besides, guys, as we have discussed in today's video uh, dedicated to the euro currency, dollar index, both of these currencies also suggest some upward continuation, so some dollar weakness. Uh, as euro currency still has a major target slightly higher ahead as a dollar index also has the target that needs to be touched yet. So that's why this uh, free space that gold market should close is probably till the target also stands uh, in, re in relation in agreement with the situation that we have on the Forex market. That's why what we have, uh, if you will take a look at the uh, four hour time frame chart, um, here we Here we uh, have the Dinapoli thrust. So recall what we said previously. So first thrust we have on the daily. This is very, very good thrust that we will use for Dinapoli trading as well. But since it has the bigger scale, uh, the patterns here will appear probably later than on the intraday charts. On the intraday charts, right from this point approximately, we have separate thrust that is shorter term. And it's also suitable uh, for Dinapoli directional patterns. 
Uh, that's why here, as you can see, some reaction stands probably to the upper body area. Uh, so you can see this, some bursting, coughing, some collapse. Short reversal candle has been formed. It means that market could show some minor retracement. Usually, it, it will it will look like uh, some minor retracement happens. Market shows acceleration higher, scraping with every bad higher and higher, something of that sort. So um, that's why here we could watch, for example, for the brand body trade because it will stand uh, in a good position to overall picture. As we have uncompleted target on the daily, it means that the, taking the long trade on the ever bad will be relatively safe because market should continue move higher. So if Market will show some retracement here, probably to the 13 even area, as you can see, the support of the whole thrust up action. So it'll be a very good point where you could think about taking long position with the upward continuation. So minor retracement probably will fall, will happen because major target, as I said, still untouched. Speaking on the double repo, guys, here will be a bit different story. Double repo will be a bit more dangerous because um, it, it could be relatively safe if market will turn down somewhere around 13 even area. So in this case, we could expect the dropping from the major resistance uh, in forming of the hand shorts. But as market already stands above it, and just a few bucks below the important targets, the chance on success by the double repo seems right now it's a bit uh, doubts because it's more, more probable that could could be formed some kind of a double repo failure in upper, in upper direction could continue. So that's been said, if we will get the brand by the buy, that's okay. So we could take, try to take the long position. If it will be double repo, we'll be ready for surprises because it really, really could be the double repo failure later uh, just by the combination that we have on the daily chart. So that's what we see right now on the gold market. No clear patterns have been formed yet. Maybe just this uh, bearish reversal candle that suggests some deeper retracement. If you're Training on the five-minute chart, maybe there you will find some clear patterns. For example, I don't know, maybe regardless, triple to sell. It will drop to the five-minute chart. Uh, you can see this drop, this re uh, reversal candle here is already has been formed. As you can see, ABCD retracement has been done. So some kind of regardless, triple to sell or something that sort. In this case, you could try to trade to the downside, try to take the bullish, bearish trades. But as we trade mostly on the daily, on the hourly chart, we will be watching for uh, patterns that will point on the, some upward continuation. First patient that will be we should keep an eye on here is brand by the buy around 13 even.